Do you struggle getting motivated? Have great ideas but don't know how to get from where you are to you want, where you want to be? Struggle finding your purpose? Well, in this episode of Going Deeper, I'm going to reveal how to find your purpose like that and also how you can start taking steps today to achieving your purpose. So welcome to today's show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own John Morris. And welcome once again to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host, John Morris, the coach for the Creative Mind, Psychologist in Training. And today's topic is all about finding your purpose. First of all, of course, as always, what is a purpose? A purpose is something that you feel that you are put here on earth to do. It's something that you connect with more than anything else that you do. For me, for 20 years, it was the world of art. It's the world of psychology. It's the world of helping people ultimately spreading light, life, and love. For someone else, it may be speaking. For someone else, it may be singing. For someone else, it may be painting. For someone else, it may be acting. You get the picture. For someone, it may be being in a bank and being an accountant. And that's what they feel that they were put here on earth to do. Everyone has a purpose in life, but sometimes it's really difficult to figure it out. So I get asked all the time by teenagers and by adults, and even by creative minds and non-creative minds, how do I find my purpose, John? And sometimes, you know, religious um, institutions will tell you, well, you need to go and pray about it. Prayer is another word for meditation. It's tapping into source where you can, where you can see God, universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it. How do I find my purpose? Now, I would tend to say that your, your finding your purpose is actually relatively easy, but people go around it the wrong way because it's not often taught the right way. Again, attitude and teaching are two of the most valuable things that you will ever get, but making sure that you're taught by the right people. It's very, very important. So how do you find your purpose? Okay, if you've got a pen and paper, I'm going to tell you. Finding your purpose in life comes from answering one simple question. What are you passionate about? Okay, I've got a very good friend of mine based out in Australia. In fact, it's a husband and wife couple. And they're amazing people. Okay, I was trying to think there on how I could sum them up, but they are amazing people. They run a wildlife sanctuary out in Australia. That is their passion. They hang out with koalas and wallabies and, and, and dingoes and, and whatever else is out there. They hang out with a whole host of different animals out there, and their job is to protect them. That is their passion. I've got a business partner of mine, Laurie Bischoff. Her passion is helping people get unstuck, literally from where they are in their life. Because you know, sometimes we get stuck, we're, we're like, well, you know, I'd really like to, to do this, this, and this, but I don't know how to get there. Similar to what I do a little bit. Um, I've got friends of mine, you know, Katie, she's passionate about teaching piano, she's passionate about writing the blog, which if you haven't checked out, you need to check out at thebattlesweoffice.com. Subscribe to the mail list, it's free, and it means that every single week you get an amazing blog that's written by her that is really going to help you, because she's a phenomenal writer. She's passionate about doing that. I'm passionate about spreading light, life, and love. I'm, I'm passionate, as you can tell, about teaching, about the mind, about the body, and about the soul. Why? Because it's something that I I've studied for nigh on 25 years now, believe it or not. I know I don't look that old. So how do you find your passion? Well, you always start at the end. Every, 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 every uh, tra transition that we have, every journey starts with an end. When you are born, it's the end of pregnancy. When you are a toddler, it's the end of babyism. When you are... Um, a teenager, it's the end of infancy. When, it's, when, when you are an adult, it's the end of teenage. You see where I'm going here? When you retire, it's the end of work. You figure out the goal. 
you figure out where you want to be and then you work backwards. So for example, if someone says, and I've heard them all, I want to be a famous basketball player, I want to be a wrestler, I want to be a history teacher. Let's pick history teacher because, for example, a lot of you guys and girls watching this may say, I would love to teach other people, but I don't know how to get from where I am to where I want to be. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that now. You figure out where you want to be. I want to be a history teacher. Brilliant, wonderful, great, great, great. I love history, by the way. I, I, that's a whole other story that I may tell you one day. But I love history, okay? So this person wants to be a history teacher, right? Okay, what are your current grades? Now, for example, if they're 17, 18 years old and they say to me, well, my grades aren't that good, okay, then you maybe need to look at going on to further education in a college. And then from college, you go to university. From university, you, you apply to uh, for, for different teaching posts. You start building up your knowledge and your credentials, and then you become a specialist in your field. Remember, if you take an hour each day for three years, you will be a specialist in your field. Now, I've been doing this every single day, pretty much for the last 20 years. That is why you should listen to me, um, among many other reasons. But, so do you see where I'm going here? They say that if you do that for, for three years, one hour a day, you'll be an expert in your field. Now, that's with a history teacher. If you want to be a famous basketball player, okay, where are you currently at? We are, and a friend of mine is based out in the United States. I play basketball on the weekends with my friends out on the streets um, and they've got basketball courts there out in the United States and great wonderful okay so how then can you go from where you are and you help follow in the steps right are you playing for a basketball team no right we'll find a basketball team because the chances are the coach similar to what Laurie and I do and similar to what Katie and I do we help you get connected to all the areas that you need to be. A good coach will have a lot of connections. And if you join a basketball team, then you may get spotted. And if you're training every single day, seven days a week, to be the best, you've got to be willing to do what it takes. And that is how you get from where you are to where you want to be. And I really hope that's helped you today think a little bit about your passion. If you've got any questions for me or if anything hasn't been clear, make sure to let me know in the comment section below or on Facebook, depending where you're watching this. Um, make sure you can say to me, John, I'm, I, I, I want to be whatever it is. Figure out who and what you want to be and then say, well, and these are the steps that I'm going to take to get there. Is this right? And I will comment back either yes or no. You know, and if it, if it, if it, if it is a no, then I'd say, okay, think about this a little bit more. We look at this in coaching programs as well. And while I'm here, let's tell you about the coaching programs we've got. I am the coach for the Creative Mind, specializing in teenagers and creative minds. So if you're sitting there today watching this thinking, gosh, he's a really cool coach. I would love one-on-one -on -one personal coaching with him. Or maybe I'd love to be part of a group. Then get in touch with us. Love the group coaching. And it's a tremendous amount of fun. We meet every single week. And it is a very, very, very awesome program that we put out there. There's going to be more details about that coming up very, very soon because we're just ironing out the final little bits and pieces, the curriculums, and how ultimately in the shortest time possible we can help you most of all. And there'll be an ad about personal coaching at the end of this show, so make, make sure to, to stay tuned for that. But folks, we are out of time. Like I say, comment in the section below, like, share, and subscribe, do all that good stuff, and tell us if you've got any questions. Ask, you know, that is the difference between success and, and getting where you want to be and not being where you want to be is literally the ability to be able to take that information and use it and learn and do all that other good stuff. I have been your host, John Morris. This has been Going Deeper. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Take care. God bless. Don't forget, come and visit us at thebattlesweallface.com to check out Katie's blog. And don't forget to tune in this Friday for another special guest. Have an amazing day. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety, maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues, maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the Creative Mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you 
into. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon